let's go ahead and see where you're at. Do you have any medical training? I do. Awesome. So that means I'm not going to waste my time going through uh, the simple steps to apply a tourniquet, which this is from Dr. Sherman House and myself. We got together and made this up. So oh. since you already have this, I'm just going to put that to the side. Okay. Because we, we've got that. But that's how important is, is that if you have a card come up that is an obvious we need to do something, mm -hmm. then she's got the background that she can verbally tell us, hey, listen, I would put a tourniquet on. It would be as high up on that arm as possible. I would tighten it until the bleeding stops may not be very comfortable. Once the bleeding stops, if I'm using a tourniquet that has a hands-free windlass, then I can mm -hmm. go ahead and tighten that, hook it up so I can call 911 and get out that location first. That's what I just told you is called cognitively stacking. She made one good first decision. Isn't that what we're looking for? That's tourniquet. What's the second good first decision she made? Tighten it until the bleeding stops. What's the next good first decision that she made? Calling 911. What is the next good decision <laughs> she made? There's so she many. Coaching first. That oh. is, that's it. So one good first decision, and then we can stack other good decisions. Well, not necessarily first, but one good first yeah. decision, and then we, we have good decisions that follow it.